Hey guys, this is Gio from Smart Home Makers. In this video, we're gonna look at smart heating. I've got a starter kit here and two additional units. I'll be installing them in three different rooms in my home, and I'll be able to control the temperature independently in each of those rooms. The main one you need to get is the one with the starter kit, which will have a bridge. This bridge will be able to connect to the internet and connect all of these up together. We'll be integrating this into Home Assistant as usual, but we'll also be looking at different platforms today. We're looking at how this is gonna integrate in the Google Assistant, in Apple HomeKit, and in Alexa. You can also use If This Then That, but I'm not really a fan of that, so I'm gonna leave that out. Before I actually start the video, just wanna remind you, Smart Home Makers, we're here to help you on your digital journey and on your smart home journey specifically. So subscribe and support the channel, that would be great. Let's get right on to it now. Okay, so let's get this box open, let's see what's inside now. Okay, so we have a bridge. So this is the bridge. We've got our smart, smart thermostat valve. So this will be installed on top of the radiator. We have various kits here that we can actually use and these are adapters depending on the type of radiator you, you have we've got a little I think this is a power adapter a little brick here we go we've got a UK plug socket and a nice little white Ethernet cable got some booklets some information over here I think you could put your like your QR codes stick them there we've got a nice booklet starter guide which I'm probably not going to read let's look at the other boxes what we've got these are actually quite heavy just to let you know obviously there's a lot of tech inside here but you can feel the weight so here's the, the other valve and here we've got more more plugs so the difference between this one and this one, that one is set vertically and the other one set horizontally. Now I actually have all of my ones. Let me show you first. So this one's set horizontally. So I actually have all my thermostats uh, set vertically. So I think I'll be packaging this up nicely and returning it back to Amazon. Okay, so I went upstairs and I connected up the bridge to the internet and to the power. So I'm here downstairs now and I'm ready to go. I've downloaded the Talo app. The first thing to do is create an account. I'm just gonna put all my personal details in now. Okay, so we've got a welcome and we can create a home. So let's tap create home. We can, you can enter your address at this point. So I'm gonna do this now off camera. You can give your home a name. I'm just gonna give it home. I guess if you have multiple locations, that could be useful. Now you need to provide a phone number in case of emergency. I don't really know why and what sort of emergencies they're talking about. I might look this up, but let me know in the comments description below if you know why Tado needs my phone number. So I'm gonna give this uh, device a name. I'm just gonna call it iPad. Yeah, notifications, fine, we're gonna allow that. Okay, so it looks like we're all good now. So if I go plus add device, I'm gonna add a smart radiator thermostat. So please register your internet bridge first. So we're gonna to need to go and scan that QR code. Now I luckily have got the QR codes on the little booklet, which I'll show you now. So the reason we've got this booklet is to actually stick all those QR codes and you, wherever you install this, you don't need to, you know, uninstall it if it's in an awkward position. This makes it a little bit more easier. So let's register it now. So I'm gonna tap start registering. Uh, yeah, access the camera. And I'm gonna pop this underneath and get it scanned. Okay, so that was quite fast, it registered. So it says to connect to the internet now, so we need to connect everything up. But it says already connected because I already did that, so next. Okay, so once that was connected, now we can register the smart radiator valve. So again with the booklet, and I'll scan it in now. So just be aware to scan the right one, 
um, and to know which one is which. So if you want to label it, maybe you write down in which room you're installing it if you're installing multiple at the same time. Okay, so I've got this. So it says remove the mountain bracket. So perhaps, let's see. Okay, so disconnected it like this. I'm gonna put this to the side. So you say, say next. Remove the battery strip to activate the device. So there's a battery strip here. Yeah, so you just pull this. Okay. Done. Oh, I can see a light just turned on. So I think power has been given to the device. Next. Press the pairing button on the back side of the device for three seconds to start pairing. You can never find a pencil when you need one. I found this little screw, so let's see. So let's go back to this. So three seconds on the pairing button. One, two, three. Okay, I did zzz. Let's see if the app is gonna pick it up. It says it may take up to two minutes. Oh, another zzz. Ah, as you notice we've got some sort of, ah, there was some sort of, uh, something came up in the LED, I didn't notice. Okay, not too bad. We've got this uh, paired up now. So that worked successfully. So the device is now ready for mounting. So we need to remove the existing radiator valve head, view details instructions, and why not? Screw the mounting bracket onto the valve, you mean? Okay, so we need to mount the mountain bracket, the, this thing we unscrewed earlier, in first. And then we need to adjust the LED. Okay, so this is for that we can read the details and this is not hidden behind, like you need to turn it the right way around. So we've got this top, if you can see this. So this one needs to align and in that way, you know where this needs to sit. Okay, I'm gonna go and move the camera over there and I'll give it a go. Okay, so this is my existing valve. So I'm gonna to need to unscrew this and replace this with um, the other one. So see how this goes. Okay, screw that now off. And I'm gonna get the mountain plate. Okay, so I'm gonna screw in the mountain valve now and I'm gonna have the top facing this way. And let's screw it. And screw it in. Okay, so that looks like it's quite secure. I'm gonna swivel this around until I've got the top fitting properly. Let me give it a little bit more. That's it. I don't think you need any tools. I think you need to just do this by hand. Okay. So let me show you. So this, now we need to mount the radiator valve. It starts in right like that. And I think you need to turn it around so you can secure it. So I think it's calibrating at this stage. It's finding out the actual uh, pressure and how to control the temperature of the radiator. And select the room where this is located. So I'm going to put my room in. Okay, congratulations, so it's all paired now, all done. Okay, so to control the temperature, you can actually move it manually, and you can see the nice dis digital display, and obviously you can control everything from the app. So let's now start pairing things to the smart home hubs. Now in the home app, I'm gonna assume plus sign, and accessory, 
And now you can scan that HomeKit setup code, which should be where your bridge is. So it all picked it up, scanned in, and we've got our Tado internet bridge now all set up. So we're gonna connect to the bridge. So we get a pick a location for the bridge. You can give your bridge a name. I'm just gonna keep it as it is. I'm gonna click continue. And the bridge has been added into the home. Perfect. And now we can see our radius valve set at 19 degrees. We can control it to 20. Don't know if you get any actual input from the radiator valve itself when it changes heating. But that's how you can sort of uh, turn it on, turn it off. This button uh, goes to max. Okay, cool. And yeah, you can go right to five degrees up to 25 degrees. So I'm gonna set it back to 19. We've also got some stats around the uh, humidity, currently 53% in the room. And we're also able to create some quick automations with HomeKit if we want to. Now let's look at the Google Home app and let's see how it interacts with it. I'm gonna go plus sign again, set up device. I'm gonna go with works with Google. Okay, so let's search for, let's see if we can scroll down to T, Tado. Okay, it's got Tado. I'm gonna try it, tap it. So we're gonna put in, and we need to log in, put in our details in. So that's a cool thing with the HomeKit setup that you don't need to really input your email or password. It, it just picks it up with that code. Uh, it's asking me, Google would like to access your Tado account. Fine, accept. Okay, so it says it's linked. Okay, so we've got a new room, the inspiration room picked up. We've got our firm stat set to 19 degrees. Very similar. We can set it all the way to 32, seems so in here, not sure if that's going to work, but there you go. And 22 is the current uh, temperature within this room, which is the other dot. And you can set it way down to nine degrees. So it's slightly different from what you could do in HomeKit. You've got this heat mode button, which I, it's just like an on and off. See what options you've got. Mm, can't see the humidity here anywhere as, as some as information. Maybe that is somewhere else, but I can't see that at the moment. Okay, cool. So that looks like that's uh, working. Now let's look at Alexa and see how easy that is to set up. Okay, so now logged into Alexa and the Alexa app. I've got 21 devices discovered. So it hasn't been, it's been a long time since I haven't actually um, opened up the Alexa app. So let me just view quickly to see if we've got our uh, new radiator valve, can't see it really. Okay, so we're gonna add it from scratch. I'm gonna click the plus button. I'm gonna add a device, let's see. So we've got some popular brands here. No, all devices. Let's go on the thermostat, Tado, okay. So it says download the Tado app. Yeah, and then go to the skill store to enable the Tado skill so we've done everything else so if we continue we've got a title skill i'm going to tap enable to use it's the same uh, authentication page so put in your details in again sign in accept and this has been successfully linked fantastic so we need to click tap on discover devices so Alex is looking for the devices, see how long this takes. It says up to 45 seconds. Hopefully a bit quicker. All right, so we found one device and two scenes. Interesting. So let's tap set up device, add your family to a group. Let's skip that for now. So we've got the inspiration room is set up and ready to use. So now you can say Alexa set inspiration room to 22 degrees. So done. Okay. So if I go to all devices, 
I'm trying to find it. Okay, it's pressure room, new device. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's 19 degrees again. Current temperature is 21.5, so this room is getting cooler since we redid the Google bit. Uh, you can tap plus to um, set the temperature higher. So I think at 22, then this will actually turn on. Yeah, I had, I had uh, got some feedback from here and actually LED light came up. So that's working fine. And if I put it down, it's not gonna do anything because it's not even, it's, it's not over the temperature. But you haven't got that nice dial that we had with HomeKit and with Google. It looks like we're stuck with this minus and plus. Which is fine, I guess it's up to your preference. Let me know what you prefer what interface you prefer. Fantastic, so now, as promised, we did the Google Assistant, we did the Apple Home Kit, and we did the Alexa. Now we're gonna go into Home Assistant to see if we can get more out of this device. Okay, so we're in Home Assistant now, and let's get this Tado radiator valve configured. So let's go to the configuration, integrations, Oh, here we go. So Tado got recognized, got discovered already automatically. So I'm going to click on configure. So now we need to put our username and password. Okay, so we've got two devices and 11 entities. So let's have a look on what we've got available. So we have a home Tado bridge status, which is a sensor. We have a uh, climate inspiration room. We have uh, various sensors. This is quite cool. We have open window sensor, room overlay, room power, tidal mode, temperature, room link, room humidity, and room heating. So it looks like we've got a lot of information here. Hey, so a couple of hours have gone by and I've got the one installed in the bedroom also. And now I've set up a little bit of a dashboard here uh, with all the temperature settings. And we've got our two rooms, we've got two dials, so we can move the temperature up and down as we wish. We've got our current temperature, and we've got various settings so we can turn off, we can set on, and we can also set on the schedule. And now we've also got the different temperatures. So I've also added all the other entities that are picking up temperature in the house, so you can see the ranges of temperatures. The one that's nine degrees, that one is actually in the fridge, and that's one of my Akara multi sensors in the fridge. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here. It's quite cool. And the next thing I will do, I will need to set in the Nest thermostat, integrate it in here, and get that all working. So I made a few videos about this already, about the Smart Device Management API, the one that Google released. And my Home Assistant might be releasing an official integration, but in the meantime, I'm going to try and get the Nest with the refresh token working properly and integrated in there. If you're interested in that video, then um, subscribe and let me know and I'll try and get that sorted for you. In the meantime, stay safe and see you in the next video.